Welcome to this first flight series on the Typhoon H. This series will cover everything you need to know from pre-flight to landing. Section 1. Pre-flight. The Typhoon H is a versatile aerial photography tool that is designed to get the shot with ease. With built-in advanced flight modes and safety features, the Typhoon H comes with everything you need including a smart transmitter with built-in tablet to display vital information as well as what your drone is seeing in real time. This tutorial will cover everything you need to know for your first flight. Our first step to prepare the Typhoon H for its first flight is to charge the flight battery and the ST16 smart transmitter. All the necessary equipment is in the package. First we will remove the Typhoon H from the protective foam package and locate the items that we need. The first thing we will grab is the flight battery charger and flight battery. Your Typhoon H includes both a wall adapter and car adapter to charge your batteries. Plug in the charger and wait for the green light to flash on top of the charger. Insert the flight battery making sure to fully seat it on the charger. The charger will then flash red indicating that the battery is being charged. Next, grab the USB cable located in the accessories box and plug it into the side of the smart charger. You can now plug your ST16 smart transmitter in. The ST16 can be charged using any USB charger, however, the smart charger that is included will charge your ST16 transmitter faster. When the battery has been fully charged, the charger will emit a tone and show a solid light indication. After pulling the Typhoon H out of the protective foam packaging, we will need to unfold the arms and lock them into flight mode. This is done by simply lifting each arm until you hear a positive click. When transforming the Typhoon H back into travel mode, simply press the button and fold the arm down. After the arms are extended, we will need to install the quick disconnecting propellers. The propellers are labeled both A and B. These will match up to the motors in the same fashion. You will also notice that half of the motors have white buttons and half of the props have a white ring. This is a quick way of telling where each of the propellers go. White buttons with white ring props. Place the propeller on the motor and spin the prop until it keys into the locking mechanism. You will then press down on the propeller while holding the motor stationary and turn the prop another quarter turn. The white ring propellers lock in place by turning them clockwise, where the black props lock in place counterclockwise. You will notice on the top of each propeller a lock and unlock icon. This will help guide you to secure or remove the prop. Next, we'll grab the included micro SD card. The card is in the accessories box inside the SD card adapter. This SD card is loaded with a digital version of the manual as well as some additional videos. Install the micro SD card into the bottom of the camera. Flip the Typhoon H upside down and insert the SD card into the slot on the bottom of the Seago 3 Plus camera with the lettering facing out. Flip the aircraft back over and remove the camera lock. Be sure to check out the rest of the series which include takeoff, flight and landing of the Typhoon H. Thanks for watching.